This lesson will be talking about Google hacking. And no, I'm not talking about breaking into Google to steal information. I'm talking about making use of specific keywords that Google uses to get the most out of the queries that you submit. So, for example, a pretty basic one is the use of quotations. You quote things in order to use specific phrases, otherwise Google will find pages that have instances of all of those words rather than the words specifically together in a particular order. So I'm going to pull this query up, and this should show a list of sites that have pages where there's a directory listing allowed on the website. And here you see index of slash, which is what I use. That's a directory listing for Ubuntu. We can also use another simple one. The plus sign says you have to find this word in your query. It's critical. And here's a list of different sites that have this particular set of words in it. So index of slash, and we want to make sure we get the PASSWD or password file. Google has defined a number of keywords, for example, this one, and that gives us a set of answers that has a file type config in it. So you can see the second one down, web.config, and the third one down, web.config. So the file type is config there. We can also use a query that looks for a set of words just in the title. So I'm going to look for sensitive in the title you can see a number of responses here. Another thing I can use is file type. As we did above, I can add that into this one. And I want to look for Word documents where the title says sensitive. And here's a set of responses for that. You can see the doc indicator on the Google response that we found some Word documents. I can look for site. And you can see here, the first one, other than the definition, is a PDF that's a questionnaire for non-sensitive positions, and that's in the Navy, so ncis.navy.mil, because we looked for mil as the site. And you can get more specific than that. We can also look for keywords in the URL. I want to look for www root, which is a pretty common directory, and we found a handful of responses here. So that's all in the URL, which would be the address that's in the address bar up above. I can look for in title, which is slightly different from all in title. And I can look for ext, which is similar to the file type. We're looking for file extensions. We could use ext.js, which would be a JavaScript file. And you can see a number of JavaScript files here that come up in response. And another one we can use, this one is maybe a little bit more obvious. What this says is we're looking for the words in this query in the text of the page. So that's a number of keywords that you can use to look for information in Google and find some very specific responses.